this uh, has no title, but I, I think of it as the unchangeable second. I think he's anthropomorphizing an old fruit tree, comparing it to a fair friend. He sees the old tree and feels it sees him back. The weather is playing havoc with the harvest. Frost killed the blossoms so there's no fruit. The seasons are not as they were. The frost and burning heat haven't stopped the leaves from being summer green. Despite the ravages of time, the tree stands firm in the speaker's mind anyway. The author knows how the tree should look and perceives it so. Is he wishing it so? There may be more than an inkling of concern that the aged tree, unknown age, may be failing. Almost unthinkable. What would summer be without the beauty of this old friend? The old tree may have changed but in the mind's eye it is the unchangeable subject and worthy of a dedication to it. When thinking of any old friend, it is the same. You see each other, whether trials and tribulations, and if one is gone, nothing is quite the same. To me, fair friend, you never can be old. For, su for as you were when first your eye I eyed, such seems your beauty still. Three winters cold have from the forests shook three summers pride. Three beauteous springs to yellow autumn turned, in process of the seasons have I seen. Three April perfumes in three hot Junes burned, since first I saw you fresh, which yet are green. Ah, yet doth beauty, like a dial hand, steal from his figure, and no pace perceived. So your sweet hue, which methinks still doth stand, hath motion, and mine eye may be deceived. For fear of which, hear this, thou age unbred, ere you were born, was beauty's summer dead.